Going for a lunchtime walk in Curtis Bay, Joel and his children move carefully. He is extremely concerned about his kids' safety. I fear for my kids. Especially after Sunday's deadly shooting on Grace Court, not far from his home. The kids was outside playing and everything. I, I heard the gunshots. Um, the kids ran in the house. We, I mean, I didn't know what exactly happened, but I mean, this area is getting worse and worse. Baltimore City Police say medics pronounced 22-year-old Allen Howard dead at the scene. So, you know, my my heart goes out to the family of the the guy that got shot. Um, I, I, I just wish the violence could stop, you know, because there's so many kids in Curtis Bay. There's so many. Joel tells us about other recent shootings in the neighborhood. I just hope the area could get better. You know, the kids could be a little safer because stray bullets hit. They don't matter. They, there's no names on the bullets. From this past weekend, Baltimore police are investigating 12 shootings. Five people died, including 26-year-old Raheem Sims. Police say someone shot him multiple times Saturday on North Patterson Park Avenue. 11 other gunfire victims survived the other shootings. The police commissioner tells us in a statement, this continued level of violence is both frustrating and disheartening to all of us working to reduce crime and keep residents safe. I personally spent a good portion of the weekend at multiple crime scenes, two of which had multiple victims. And over the weekend, Mayor Brandon Scott also talked about the violence. We need more people to tell us. We need people to hold their friends and family accountable so that we can make sure that cowards who shoot people over stupid, silly stuff can't be walking our streets. Now, the mayor also said homicide detectives have cleared 55% of cases and officers are working hard to get guns off the streets. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.